Today I was driving in Boston and it reminded me of this time a few years ago when I was desperately trying to find myself someone to work under. I would offer my services to free for everybody and there was this guy that I was a big fan of who was a partner in a bunch of different businesses and that I looked up to quite a bit. And he actually had an office in Boston. And I found out that he went to work every Thursday at 2 p.m. or something like that. And I thought of probably four to five different questions that I could ask him and very in detail based upon all the work he's ever done before and knew that if I could talk to this guy, I think I could convince him that I could work for him for free. I would pay him. I would do anything. And I thought there was a pretty high chance that I could convince him to at least take me on to where I can scout him out for a few weeks or at least become some sort of acquaintances. And I found his office. I found everything. You could say it was a stalker. So what? I go to his office when I was pretty sure that he was going to be there. I wore a suit and I go in there quaking in my boots. I'm lit. I'm so scared. And just to realize that his office is on, let's say the 13th floor of this massive building in Boston. And there is a doorman that you had to go through. This was the time during COVID when all the lockdown stuff. So people were in masks and all this jargon. And this guy said, oh, you have a reservation with Mr. Larry? And I said, I said, no, I don't have a reservation. I was just planning on meeting him here. And he said, oh, you can only go by reservation. And I was talking to this guy for a few minutes and I realized that he was not going to budge. And so I thought I had two options because there was no way to get to the elevator. Uh, he had to actually bring you up to whatever floor you wanted to go to. And then you would get to the office of whoever you were trying to see. So I would have had to get through this guy, then get through the secretary of the guy that I was trying to work with, then somehow go from the secretary to him and my finesse game was low. Looking back at it, I've had so much experience having to try and finesse my way into these situations that I would approach it from a different way, but I basically just gave up after that. I said, well, I tried. I did. I put in the effort. I went to his office. I couldn't get a meeting. I'm just going to leave, and I actually never showed back up. I emailed him and I thought that was enough. I thought that was me putting in a lot of effort to try and work for this guy. It didn't work. Let me just go on to somebody else. If I was really serious about it, I could have waited outside the office until he would come in every single day and then say, hey, sir, I just wanted the chance to meet you. I got declined. Uh, I know that I don't have a reservation, but I just want to shake your hand and ask you a few questions. I will only take up five minutes of your time. Sir, is that okay? And if I was really serious, if I was really that desperate, I could have waited outside the office every single day until I eventually saw him. And I guaranteed eventually you would come apart to this. But anyway, I was just reflecting and I thought that the whole situation was pretty funny. I'm glad that I didn't end up getting that opportunity. Maybe I would have worked for him. I would be in a very different field than I am in now. And I'm just fortunate that my life has ended up where it is. If I could have got through the, that security guard and then gotten through the secretary and then gotten to this guy, maybe my life would have ended up completely differently. Maybe it would be better. Maybe it would be worse, but I'm very happy where I am now. So I would like to continue on this journey. Then I always see today so many people who say, oh, I want to work for someone for free. And I, I know a lot of people who get those kinds of DMs or those requests very frequently because they've made some sort of success level and now people want to work for them. And I just see it now as such a selfish, selfish request as the person who's asking. Looking back, I would probably still do that, but I would do it from a much different approach by providing value first. Whereas before I was more of a parasite where I said, I want you to teach me everything that you know, and I have nothing in value to offer you. That is a terrible deal. Who would want to take that? And so many people think that an opportunity is just going to fall into their lap when it just really never does. I've never really seen an occasion of that. I've had a very, I've had tons and tons of opportunities that I do or possibly don't deserve, but none of them have came from blatant luck. There's always been some sort of drastic risk taking that has evolved to get there. If I could very easily be telling a story now of when I went to this guy's office. I got through to the security guard. I got through to his secretary, I got through to him and became friends and started working for him. If I approached that differently, if I somehow provided some sort of value for him when I was emailing him all the results for something that he had done to where I said, hey, I'm in Boston, I'd love to come to your office when you're there. I'll only take five minutes of your time. I'd love to just watch what you're doing. I'll do anything. 
And if I could have solved one of his problems, I could have gotten invited to the office. And that's what I would have done now. Now I feel pretty strongly that there are some problems that I could fix for what he's currently doing. And I could send him a message fixing those problems, how I would do it. And I said, hey, I'm in the area. I'll come by and we'll hang out, maybe grab lunch or something. That's a much more reasonable request than just showing up at somebody's office. Who the hell is going to want some random ass kids showing up at their office? Uh, you're alarm systems are going to be flashing red. Oh, there's some weird kid outside. How the hell did he find out about this place? Uh, there's no real benefit in doing that. And at the time, I thought that that was taking a bold move, that this is what you have to do. When it's probably, when it's definitely not going to have the best effect, especially if you were trying to work for somebody who's very high above you, there's no reason why they would ever want to take you on. If you're working with some sort of small business and you say, hey, I'll work for you for free, they would freak out all small business owners that there's so many of them that I talk to, even if they just have, let's say under 50 employees, but they're making a few million dollars a year. Those people never get those kinds of requests. If they don't have any social media, they are trying to get their employees to work hard to begin with. So they would love to take on young kids who really, really want to work. And that's what I should have done. I should have approached these small businesses, but instead I tried to approach these people that I looked up to on social media. But these people have such big following, so many people want to work with them that they're getting so many of these requests. So there's no reason why they would want to take on anybody. So you got to have to pick and choose the battles. Anywho, I've got to go. 1030. Goodbye.